what is this new Russian electronic visa, e-visa, and how can you get it? Well, keep on watching. What's up guys, this is Egon in Russia. I'm a YouTuber making videos and content about traveling to Russia, exploring my best and my most beloved cities, St. Petersburg, Moscow, and other cities as well. And uh, if you like the content, please subscribe, hit the like button. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the new online e-visa of Russia. What it's all about, who's eligible, and uh, what does it take and how do you proceed? I just found out about this as a new stuff right now, so you don't forget. All right, let's get into this. We're gonna check out the new visa possibilities to Russia. As you know, Russia is of course an uh, intriguing country, uh, in good and bad probably, for the Westerners especially. Uh, and uh, St. Petersburg, I know for example, used to have like uh, around 2 million uh, tourists yearly. That's like, uh, that's a huge amount. I think probably more as well. Plus it gets a lot of tons of uh, uh, internal Russian tourists as well. And I consider St. Petersburg to be my hometown, even though I travel from abroad as a tourist. And uh, we're gonna get back to some of the videos that I made, how to travel, actually physically travel to uh, St. Petersburg, especially via Helsinki by buses, what, how, and I also have guide videos on my channel, how to actually exchange best rates uh, money in St. Petersburg and Russia in general, how to, if you're staying just a bit longer, how it's easy to get a bank card, what, how to use the, uh, the bank card, how to uh, telephone um, possibilities online, internet, etc. So I have all of this gathered and I'm going to be linking it down below as well and maybe referring it referring to it in this video as well. But before that, everything starts for uh, foreigners from uh, getting a visa. Before this situation, free online e-visa, you had to choose a one-time visa, two-time vi entry visa, uh, year visa, two-year visa, four-year visa. And the, uh, if you're traveling for the first time to Russia, I think it's uh, mandatory to have the, uh, you can only get this one-time entry visa. And that gives you the possibility to stay for 30 days, one entry, one exit, 30 days maximum in Russia. And two time entry, I think is during, was it like during the one month you are able to enter uh, twice? Yeah, something like that. And altogether, I think it's like 30 days. I'm not sure about this. I never had this one because I always had the longer visa, meaning that I can travel freely as a tourist for one year. And technically one year visa is a, is a business visa. And sometimes they ask you your purpose. And if you say, oh, I'm gonna be traveling and uh, taking some pictures, that's tourism, that's not business. So you have to somehow say it's something else. And if you like, you can also donate through Super Chat or Patreon or buy me coffee, which is technically buy me beer if you're a friend of this channel. All right, let's continue. So right now, from the 1st of August, Russia launched return. Actually, it was uh, uh, it was active before the pandemic, but uh, they launched the uh, the free online visa. And I'm going to be referring to Russia beyond uh, a newsletter that I receive and that he gives a good knowledge over there. But I'm going to be unpacking it for you so you don't have to do it yourself. All right. So after the whole situation from 2022 and after pandemic, there have been many restrictions in traveling. But unlike people know, you can travel to Russia as tourists as freely as any time before. And this video is my intention is not to promote Russia per se. Yes, I want you to see it. I just want to reach for those people who somehow, sometimes still want to travel to Russia, but because of this, uh, this situation, they don't want to like, uh, I don't know. Many people think that it's somehow they, uh, they support certain polit political uh, stuff in Russia. I personally don't think so. Traveling is traveling. It's meeting people, culture, whatever, you know, you have might you might uh, want to see some historically Finnish locations. So, for, for example, if you're near the Finnish border or you want to see the most awesome city, Moscow, you can do that, by the way, by looking into my Moscow playlist. So many people don't want to go to 
Russia because they think a it's not possible it's just untrue if you have any connection to Moscow to Russia by traveling you can do that and for example some of the ways that I advise is of course through bus uh, in this current situation by bus companies through Helsinki to St. Petersburg or Viborg or you can fly from Istanbul to Moscow or St. Petersburg or I think Serbia has can also and uh, for example I think even Tallinn as well you can travel from uh, Estonia to, to Narva and through Narva to uh, Ivan Gorod by walking and the bus the bus uh, does like a 500 rubles that's five euro uh, trip from Ivan Gorod which is the border city of Russia next to Narva which is Estonia and you go to uh, St. Petersburg, I think it's like a few hours. Plus you can travel also from elsewhere, but usually it's like these, these possibilities, how you can travel. So there's a different ways you can do that. Everything is legal and actually the European borders, for example, Finnish border are really professional. Uh, they, they treat you like normally as they should. So you just say, just show your visa or if you have two passports, if you're a uh, Russian, have something else, you can just travel freely. And um, I also talk about the how people actually, the foreigners from unfriendly countries, certain countries might get few extra questions for sure. If you're a man, for example, but otherwise, I don't think if, if there's no reason to, it's pre pretty, pretty all good. I see foreigners traveling all the time with me in buses. All right. So traveling to uh, to Russia is, of course, been going down like huge. I think I just read in the newspaper in St. Petersburg that the tourism in, Ru in St. Petersburg has, uh, if you're talking about the foreigners, it's uh, down to 2%. Basically, it stopped all like fully. Maybe some people don't know that they can actually travel and see the greatest city in the world. So, but you need visa in order to travel as a foreigner to Russia. So what you can do now, unless you want to use some companies to get these other visas, you can have an easy online visa through the site. And this is a new stuff right here. Despite the current difficulties, uh, Russia remains open and uh, recently green lighted on uh, an electronic visa and that uh, reduces significantly significantly time and your effort to like to get the visa and, and have your trip done so what is this new Russian electronic visa e visa and how can you get it well keep on looking keep on watching since August the first Russia begin uh, began issuing electronic visas and that allow you to uh, to complete the whole process online and require minimum documents to get it so first of all what is electronic visa electronic visa is a typical normal visa that allows you to travel to any region of russia of course note in certain border cities there's special restrictions for tourists you will fill a, you fill an application application online and keep it saved on your smartphone or computer instead of being physically stamped in your passport. So this is the difference, the main difference. You get it. You just have to show it the electronic visa and they check out probably with some code or something at the border. The e visa is valid for sixty days and during this period you can enter the territory of Russia once and stay up up to sixteen days. All right, so this is the, the difference. The e-visa is suitable for many purposes. Tourism, business trips, participation in scientific and cultural events, and etc. So basically, whatever you have to do as a tourist or business trip or whatever, you can do that with e-visa. So, so it's basically all-purpose visa. If the purpose of your visit differs for example, uh, work or study, for example, you should bring this to attention at the consulate or visa center. And of course, a lot of uh, visa centers don't work. So basically, like a con consulate is the, your choice. So how to get this electronic visa? Let's say you want to visit St. Petersburg for three days or whatever. How to get it? Well, it's very easy, but it says that there are still some conditions. Well, naturally, it has to be the visitor has to have insurance valid for the whole period of stay. This is like universal thing, right? The visitor has to be the citizen of one of the following countries. And here comes the list. Get ready for it. Let's go. Austria, Andorra, 
Bahrain, Bahrain, Belgium, Bulgaria, Vatican, Hungary, Germany, Greece, Denmark, India, Indonesia, Iran, Ireland, Iceland, Spain, Italy, Cyprus, China and Taiwan, North Korea, Kuwait, Latvia, Lithuania, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, Malaysia, Malta, Mexico, Monaco, the Netherlands, Norway, Oman, Poland, Portugal, Romania, San Marino, Saudi Arabia, North Macedonia, 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 which one is it? Uh, Serbia, Singapore, Slovakia, Slovenia, Turkey, Philippines, Finland, France, Croatia, Czech Republic, Switzerland, Sweden, Estonia, Japan, Myanmar, Vietnam or Cambodia. All right, so one of these countries, if you're uh, from the if you have a uh, citizenship in these countries, you you can apply for the E visa. Notice no Americans. I wonder why. A visitor's passport has to be valid for at least six months after the end of visa's valid validity validity period. So when you come back, it has to be uh, after the end of your visa period, your passport has to be valid for half a year. So this is a one condition. That's that's also the normal visa condition. So the process itself, it says it's pretty simple. You have to go to a certain website and uh, fill in the form and upload the following scans. So these are important to be uh, scanned. The page with your passport details, personal information and biometric photo. You should fill the application no sooner than 40 days before your visit and no la later than four days prior. Anyway, the, it's not totally free, even though it's basically it's visa, it's free visa, but you have to pay a, a 40 euro processing fee, which is very cheap compared to uh, what uh, typically this one time one entry visa would cost. It would cost, well, my experiences in Finland is like 80 euros and more for one entry. It used to be at least so. That's not bad for 40 bucks. And of course, the trip costs more. You can find out more on my links below videos about how much the bus fares cost. And uh, you can check out how much uh, uh, the Russian Aeroflot from Istanbul cost or a Turkish airline. For your kids younger than six, the e-visa is free, but they still need to apply for one visa, no matter the age. So visa for every kids you have, even, even under the six year old age. Which is different from uh, other, well, from the normal visa procedures that you don't actually have to have a, a hotel reservation uh, or invitation to prove the reason for your trip. Which is like usually like the company that uh, does the visa usually had that covered, or if you have like a like a relative or whatever to make the invitation. So all of this is unnecessary in the e visa, which is really nice. If a visa is approved, the visitor should print print the notification about its uh, issuance to show it on the border so the your issued visa via email or all that program that's your visa you have to show so all right so simple as that of course probably the form has its own uh, uh, tricks and details that might be hard for you to understand but uh, you can comment down below if there's some problems i will try to help as much as i can so more information about after the visa and the process after the visa all of the process is on my video please check out the latest video at least to see the full full uh, detailed explanation how to travel to russia by bus especially and what to take into consideration. If you like the video, please uh, hit the like button. I'm Igor in Russia. I make videos about Russia from the Western perspective on my channel. I love St. Petersburg. I love now also Moscow. I love every city. Russian people are awesome. I hope you just, if you have, have an itch, don't go to the doctor, and but uh, you can check out uh, the EVs and maybe travel to Russia. A lot of people write to me and keep on writing. I like the comments about your planned trips. Many people want to meet me. If I'm in town, I might do that. And uh, But uh, keep the comment section hot and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. This is Egon Russia. Пока.